The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Air Arabia, a low-cost airline based in the United Arab Emirates that serves the Middle East and North Africa, announces the launch of the first ever service to Moscow, Russia, with plans for scheduled flights also to Yekaterinburg, Russia's fourth largest city. Olak of Vietnam contributes 100,000 US dollars in relief aid to assist flood-affected people in Cambodia, while the Vietnam Bank for Investment and Development donates 100 tons of rice as well as salt and other much-needed supplies such as clothing, textbooks and pens for students. Sweden announces a 300 million US dollar donation to the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria, saying that this contribution also represents an 11% increase compared to last year. Speaking as a guest on the popular US-based television health program Dr Oz, vegan author and dietitian Juliana Hever, who was also a consultant for the film Forks Over Knives, discusses the benefits of a plant-based diet and demonstrates recipes from her book. Romania's former king, Michael I, on the occasion of his 90th birthday, addresses the nation's parliament for the first time since 1947 and calls on politicians to work together in strengthening principles of democracy toward a prosperous, dignified and exemplary nation. Burmese Nobel Peace Prize laureate and democratic leader Dr. Aung San Suu Kyi is awarded the Wallenberg Medal by the US-based University of Michigan in honor of her tireless humanitarian efforts on behalf of fellow citizens. In India's Gujarat state, the Animal Preservation Act 2011, which completely bans cow slaughter or transportation and prohibits the selling of beef or beef byproducts, is enacted into law. The Enough Project, co-founded by US activist John Prendergast and all-star professional basketball player Tracy McGrady, connects US students online with their counterparts in Darfur, Sudan, to better assist the African youths while enriching lives in both cultures.